Quick, graph y equals 3 times the cosine of x by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need paper and straight edge or you can download this PDF of trig graph paper. Press pause as needed any time during the video. Graph y equals 3 times the cosine of x. First way is with what we call the cosine dance. Recall the graph of what the cosine looks like and it has five key points of interest which we will circle. These key points and all points on the cosine are affected by the parameters in the equation. And the only one here is a times 3 times the function. So this 3 times multiplies each y value by 3. So the initial point, which is normally at 0, 1, is vertically stretched by that factor of 3 to 0, 3. So let's go ahead and plot that. The end of the first period is normally at 2 pi comma 1. That point is vertically stretched by a factor of 3 to be at 2 pi 3. So we'll plot that one. Halfway between those two maximum points is a minimum, normally at pi comma negative 1. That point is also vertically stretched by a factor of 3 down to pi negative 3. So let's plot that one. Halfway between this max and this min is a point of inflection at pi over 2, 0. That's being vertically stretched by a factor of 3, so we multiply the y value by 3, and 3 times 0 is 0, so it remains unchanged. It's at pi over 2, 0. And halfway between the min and this max is another point of inflection, also vertically stretched, but again, unchanged because 3 times 0 is 0. So 3 pi over 2 comma 0. Pause is needed. Connect the points as a cosine wave. So the first two points will do half of a frown concave down. Next ones are a smile concave up and then half of a frown concave down. This is one period of the cosine wave. Let's duplicate the wave in the negative direction. We'll start at 0, 3 and go back a period 2 pi to negative 2 pi comma 3. Pi over 2, 0 will go back to negative 3 pi over 2, 0, back 2 pi that period. Pi negative 3 goes back to negative pi comma negative 3 and then negative pi over 2 comma 0. Again, we'll connect the points as a cosine wave. Concave down, concave up, concave down. Compare it to the parent function. The green is our graph, the blue is the parent function. We can see that the blue coordinate times 3 is the green coordinate. Not just here, but here and here, and actually everywhere. Pause is needed. Some terminology or vocabulary. The amplitude of a wave is defined to be this. It's the maximum minus the minimum all divided by 2. So for the cosine wave here, the amplitude is going to be the maximum 1 minus the minimum negative 1 and then divide that by 2. So we'll just substitute those values here. And doing the arithmetic, 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the amplitude of this cosine curve is 1. The amplitude is also the distance from a max point to the line containing the points of inflection. So that's 1 and it's also from the minimum to the line containing the points of inflection, that distance there, which is 1. Pause is needed. What is the amplitude for y equals 3 times the cosine of x?
The amplitude of a wave, again, is defined to be max minus min divided by 2. So the max is 3, the min is negative 3. Subtracting those, we'll get a positive 6. And then divide by 2 is 3. So the amplitude is 3. It's also the distance from the max to the line containing the points of inflection, which is along the x-axis. Second way, we'll graph using a table. So these are our values on the axes. Please complete the table. Pause as needed. And you should just know these values here. We need to create a second table. And we need to multiply each of the y coordinates by 3 only. The reason I say that is nothing is happening to the x-coordinates with that parameter of 3. So we'll keep the x-coordinates the same. And so I'm going to multiply 1 by 3 and get 3. So my first point will be at 0, 3. 0 times 3 is 0. So right pi over 2, 0. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Right pi down 3. 0 times 3 is 0. 3 pi over 2 comma 0. And 1 times 3 is 3. 2 pi comma 3. Connect those points as a cosine wave. Concave down. Concave up. Concave down. This is one period of the wave. Let's plot another one to the left. We'll start at this point here and go back the period, which is 2 pi. So at negative 2 pi, 3. Back a period, back a period, and back a period. Again, connect the points as a cosine wave. Concave down, concave up, concave down. and comparing it to the parent function. Now you try one. Graph y equals 3 halves times the cosine of x. Use either method or both for the practice. We'd also like you to say what is the amplitude of this curve. Pause is needed. And here's the answer in green. And you can see that the amplitude is positive 3 halves or 1 and a half. If you go from the line containing the points of inflection up to a maximum, it's up 1 and a half or down 1 and a half.